Okay, guys, uh, this lesson is uh, the second part of any uh, inequalities with variables on both sides in this lesson here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathLog.com. And if you get a chance, would you like this video? That helps encourage me uh, to can continue making these. And subscribe uh, to my YouTube site if you haven't already. That would be cool. All right, let's try some of these, you guys. So the Daily Info, which is a newspaper, uh, charges a fee of $650 plus eighty dollars per week to run an ad okay so this would be uh... six fifty plus uh... eighty w eighty dollars a week okay the people's paper charges a hundred forty five dollars per week so that one's just a hundred forty five w okay so for how many weeks must an ad run for the total cost of the daily info to be less expensive than the cost of the people's paper Okay, and so we're going to let W be the number of weeks uh, uh, that the ad runs in the paper. Okay, can you see since um, uh, this eighty dollars is less than one hundred forty-five dollars, the initial cost of six fifty is going to make it more expensive, you know, in the beginning. But in the long run, uh, these these lower payments are going to um, uh, be outweighed by this upper payment right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and write an inequality to represent this. Okay, so we want to know when is um, um, how long is this paper, the Daily Info paper? Uh, less than uh, the people's paper right here. Okay, so this is what we're going to go ahead and solve. Okay, so we're going to use uh, the subtraction property and subtract the ADW from both sides, and we'll just simplify a little bit, and we get uh, uh, the 650 equals, uh, or sorry, less than 65W. Okay, you remember what we do now? We're going to divide both sides by this 65. So this is called the division property. We're going to divide and then simplify, and we get um, uh, 10 is less than W, okay? Or W is greater than 10. All right, so what's that mean? Okay, so that just means that the total cost of, at the daily info is less than the cost of the people's paper if the ad runs for more than 10 weeks, okay? So uh, we need the weeks to be, this says that we need the weeks, the number of weeks to be uh, greater than 10, okay? As soon as it gets greater than 10, then uh, the other one becomes more expensive, okay? All right, so if when it's greater than 10, then this one becomes more expensive. Anyways, that's what we're asking right there. Let's try another one of these, you guys. Okay, so the home cleaning company charges $312 to power wash the siding of a house, plus $12 for each window. Power Clean charges just $36 a window. Uh, and the price in, that price includes the power washing of the sides. Okay, so how many windows must a house have to make the total cost of the home cleaning company less expensive than the power cleaning? Okay, and we'll let W be the number of windows. So we'll write an inequality right here. So this is going to be 312 plus 12W right here, and this is going to be 36W. So just like the last one, it's going to be uh, that uh, inequality. Now we're going to subtract 12W from both sides and simplify right there. Then we're going to divide both sides by 24, and we get uh, 13. So, so after the 13th week is what's going to happen. So a house must have more than 13 windows. Oh, did I say weak windows? More than 13 windows uh, for the home cleaning company to be less than the power cleaning company. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see, what else do we have? So how would the final inequality change if we divided by negative 24 instead of 24? So here we divided by 24, and what would happen when we divide by a negative, it would flip this inequality around to be the other way. So, um, or you can flip these guys around, okay? So the inequality, instead of pointing at the 13 by dividing by a negative, it flips it, makes it point at the W. So here it is this inequality points at the W right there. Okay, so it just uh, reverses the direction when you multiply or divide by a negative. All right, the school band will sell pizzas to raise money for new uniforms. Pizza sounds good right now. Uh, the supplier charges $100 plus $4 per pizza. The band members sell pizza for $7 each. So write and solve another inequality to find how many pizzas the band members uh, will have to sell to make a profit, okay? All right, so it's going to be 100 plus the $4 uh, per pizza right there, P being the number of pizzas right there. Okay, when, when is, uh, we want that to be less than um, the $7 pizzas right there, okay? So we're going to subtract 4P, and with 7P minus 4P is 3P, and when we divide, we get um, uh, 3 goes into 133 and a third times. It goes in 3 times 90, or 3 times 33 is 99, and there's one left over, so we get 33 and a third. Okay, so, um, uh, and it, I like to have the inequality on the left-hand side here, so this tells me that uh, the number of pizzas has to be greater than or equal to 
33 and a third pizzas. Well, since they were talking about pizzas right here, we're going to have to round up to the next pizza, which is going to make it 34 pizzas right there. Okay. So, whoops, how come I don't have that answer in there? So, this means that the band members will need to sell at least 34 pizzas to make a profit right there. Okay. Because otherwise, they're going to be losing money. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, uh, which inequality symbol should we use to represent the following words or phrases? Uh, after that, list more examples of phrases that might have the same meaning. Okay, at most, okay, I was telling my students today, I was doing this lesson today, uh, at most, I am at most 53. And then I said, could I be 53? And the kid said, yeah. And I said, with that statement, could I be 54? Kid said, no. Could I be 52? Yeah, I could be 52 if I'm at most. So that's less than or equal to. So other phrases that associate with that are up to or no more than, okay? All right, farther than, okay? Farther than is, is greater, okay? And so other ways to do that is, is larger than, greater than, more than, okay? Younger than would be less than, so uh, less than, um, smaller than, fewer than, okay? And up to, well, up to is the same as at most right here. So this one's going to be uh, less than or equal to, so um, uh, heavier than or no more than. So it said after that, list some examples of other kinds of phrases that you can say to do all of that right there. All right, so let's find the solution set of these guys and we'll wrap it up. I got two of these here. Okay. When you have a fraction, you guys, I noticed the textbook suggests to distribute the one third through, and that's fine if you want. But I tell my students, you, you guys are freaking out on that just because of that denominator right there. So let's get rid of it. Multiply both sides by 3, the common denominator, and it makes it go away. Watch. It goes away, and you're left with just that numerator, which is 1. 1 times negative 5x minus 3, and then over here it's 14 times 3. Okay, and 1 times anything is just that anything, so I can drop those parentheses right there. Now I'm going to add 3 to both sides. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and divide by negative 5. Remember, when we divide by negative, it flips that inequality that away. So we get um, uh, x is greater than negative 9. All right, let's try one with uh, something else in the numerator. So this one says negative 2 fifths times the quantity 10x plus 20 less than uh, negative 44. Okay, again, you guys, what's freaking you out is that denominator. So let's get rid of it. Let's multiply both sides by 5. Okay, and what happens is, is the 5's cancel on the left over here. You still have the negative, the negative 2. Well, okay, this problem is a lot easier than this one right here. We don't have a fraction anymore. So now we're going to go ahead and distribute the negative 2 through. So when we do that, we get negative 20x minus 40. Okay, we're going to add 40 to both sides to get rid of the negative 40. Okay, now when we divide by a negative 20, it's going to flip that inequality, and we get 9 on that one. Okay, all right, you guys, if you are in my class, I would assign that for your homework. Take care.